So media studies is a very popular subject at A-level. It's a subject which is targeted towards students who enjoy the evaluative side of the media, but also, more importantly, sometimes the creative side of the media. We look at how the media is constructed by the producers and deconstructed by the audiences. So certain things that we look at is the film industry, where we look at two comparable films of two different genres, and the students get to analyse those films in terms of how they've been put together. The creative side of things allows students to have that flexibility to really think about where their strengths are. So many people select the film industry and look at two different production companies before then going ahead and creating their own. The girls will give you a bit more of an insight into that in the next few questions. But it is that subject which students really engage with because it's a subject they're part of as part of their day-to-day -day lives. Social media plays a big part in what we study. The news plays a big part in what we study but it's actually getting to grips with how the media is made for us and how we respond. In Year 12 Media, the course is broken down into three sections, Selling Images, News in the Online Age and the Film Industry. With Selling Images, we look at a mixture of audio visuals and print text, such as music videos and adverts. We do a textual analysis of each media product, focusing on media language, representation and how the text may appeal to audiences. Personally, this is my favourite section as I like to find the deeper meaning of a text and understand the producer's process of construction and editing. With News in the Online Age, the section assesses similar focus points as selling images whilst looking into different media industries. The question is based off a news text that you've studied as a class. So as of right now, we're using the American presidential election cases and analysing them in terms of audience impact and representation of national identity. Non-exam assessment consists of three stages, research, production and evaluation. We then look at different film companies, these being working title and dimension films. We then individually decide after a brief research of these film companies which it is we want to base our work on. Personally, I choose dimension film as I have an interest for the horror genre. After researching different dimension films, we then go on to the production stage, which is where we create our own texts. We then go on to the reflective analysis, which is where we reflect what we've done. The final section is Wales to Hollywood, where we compare the Welsh film Library Suicides to the Hollywood blockbuster Shutter Island. You want to uncover the truth? We analyse the film and there are two questions in your exam that are based upon the film. They're both brilliant films, but they are scary at times. I chose to study media because it was my favourite subject at GCSE and one of my strongest subjects. I want to take it in the future at university and eventually, hopefully, work for a production house such as the BBC. How about you, Mom? I chose to take media at A-level because it's my favourite subject at GCSE, but also the subject that I have most confidence in. I also really enjoy creating different media texts, such as magazine covers and film posters. This is something I'm actually interested in doing as a career. Therefore, I knew media was the best option for me. I suppose the teacher's all right too, but I have got to say that because he's right behind my camera. My name is Karis Jones. I studied media at GCSE and A-level at Chepstow School and I'm currently in my third year doing film at the University of South Wales. So the skills I learned at media, specifically construction of film text and how the audience deconstruct film text, that's something I keep in mind today when I'm coming up with shots for productions. As well as this, the key terminology and theorists is something I use today in both my practical and written work at university. I thoroughly enjoyed it, it gave me so much confidence, and I think it's a subject worth taking. Okay, so I hope the girls give you a bit more of an insight in terms of what the subject requirements are. Just as a recap, it, over the course of two years, it's 60% exam and 40% coursework. It is a brilliant subject, I'm obviously very biased, but it is that type of subject because of the nature of the fact that students are involved in it day to day, it really does stir an interesting debate in lessons and it's a subject which really is one which encourages pupils to sort of express their opinion. I genuinely hope to see you in September next year. Thank you.